Now, you tell me if this makes sense to you. There's this guy that goes to my church and this lady that I know, and she introduced me to the guy maybe like this past summer, so like some months ago, right? Introduced, I'm like, hey, how are you? You know, it was, it was a real nice introduction, and then that was it. Apparently, he's interested, so talk to me. Like, so on Sunday, she saw me. I hugged her, you know, hey, how you doing? She was like, let me introduce you to this to this young man. I said, ma'am, you've already introduced me to him before. And she was like, I have? I said, yeah. She was like, well, he's a, he's a great young man, and, and I, I feel like y'all two, you know, would it would be nice if y'all two, you know, like spend some time together. I said, he doesn't say nothing to me. So I don't say nothing to him. And she was like, well, he said that you said you won't be looking his way. Oh. Today. We're going to be looking at yet another entitled woman who claims men don't approach her. Now, there's always a reason why a woman would say that. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's because of the woman. Without further ado, let's roll that clip. Now, you tell me if this makes sense to you. There's this guy that goes to my church and this lady that I know, and she introduced me to the guy maybe like this past summer. So like some months ago, right? Introduced. I'm like, Hey, how are you? You know, it was, it was a real nice introduction. And then that was it. Apparently he's interested. So talk to me. Like, so on Sunday she saw me, I hugged her, you know, Hey, how you doing? She was like, let me introduce you to this, to this young man. I said, ma'am, you've already introduced me to him before. And she was like, I have? I said, yeah. She was like, well, he's a, he's a great young man. And, and I, I feel like y'all two, you know, would, would, it would be nice if y'all two, you know, like spend some time together. I said, he doesn't say nothing to me. So I don't say nothing to him. She said, he doesn't say nothing to me. And I don't say nothing to him. He said, she's saying... He doesn't say nothing to me. I don't say nothing to him. But why not? You want a man, don't you? Would it kill you to open up your mouth and speak to this man? Didn't they always say closed mouths don't get fed? So if you're waiting on a man to make the first move, you may have to make that first move. Smile. Look inviting. Maybe you have an RBF. Maybe you don't look approachable. Maybe you're doing something that causes this man to not want to approach you. And maybe it takes you to break that ice. Ladies, it's 2023. If you don't go after it, you ain't gonna get it. Now, I'm not saying chase every man but are you giving that man choosing signals are you looking his way and then letting him catch you looking at you or are you dropping things in front of him on purpose so that you can have him pick it up and then bam there's the opener you have to let a man know that you're willing and able to be approached but men, but, but women just feel like, okay, I'm a woman, so this man should automatically know and be able to read my mind and be like, oh, he should be approaching me. Let's continue. And she was like, well, he said that you said you won't be looking his way. <laughs> oh, let me repeat myself. He don't say nothing to me, so I don't say nothing to him. I don't pursue. I don't chase. I don't insert myself. I don't do none of that. Now, mind you, this man works on the parking lot ministry, right? 
or the ministry that's outside telling you where to park and stuff. Sweetie pie, you trying to talk to me? Tell me you'll park my car. <laughs> <laughs> Save me a parking spot close to the door. Okay? Tell me you'll, you'll drive me up to the front. What do you mean by that? Or you'll meet me up at the front and then you'll go park my car for me. No. Nope. That's how you talk to a woman. I don't know what be possessing y'all to think that we as the women got to do the pursuing the chasing and all of that. Baby, I accept what's given to me. She's said to reciprocate. Something has to be given to you first. Now let's test that theory. If you want a job, do you not have to first apply for a job in order to get one? If you want to buy a car, do you not have to go out to the car dealership and purchase one? Hey, yeah. The dealership is not just going to come to you. They're not just going to pull up a truck in front of your house and say, here, you want a new car? Pick one out of all these cars. The dealer is not going to do that. The jobs are not going to do that. So you're making an excuse, lady, on why you can't pursue this man. It's not that you can't pursue, it's that you don't want to. You want to be pursued by the man, but yet the door is already open because you've already been introduced to him. And then if you notice the one thing that she said, the other lady saying, you don't look his way. So he's interested in you. You know that he's interested in you, but he's waiting on the woman to give him an opportunity to approach. Men are approaching women. They just aren't approaching you. And we're going to get to the reason why this woman is not being approached right now. That's why I be quiet, because if you can't even speak to me in the parking lot, you sure can't handle me in this mouth. Bingo. She got a mouth. And guys, I'm sure you could see that from the video, but I'm glad she said something. She said, if you can't even speak to me in this parking lot, you sure can't handle me in this mouth. And that's the reason why he's not approaching you. Because you have a mouth. No man wants to deal with a woman in her mouth. Get the hell out. Get out. Get out! Get out! Okay, get out! Yeah. Get out! No man wants to deal with a woman and her mouth. We don't want to deal with it. More than likely, he knows that you have a mouth because y'all go to church together and he's probably heard you talking to other people. So he was like, nope, I don't want you because you got a mouth. You got a mouth on you, and I don't even want to deal with that. And see, a lot of people need to understand that if people aren't approaching you, maybe it's you. Maybe it's your demeanor. Maybe it's your mouth. Maybe it's something about you that repels men away. And because you don't see it, because you're looking at yourself from yourself, you're, you're going to be completely oblivious to it. You're going to be completely oblivious to the fact that this man is dodging a bullet by not talking. Make it make sense. If you're going to do anything in this world, make it make sense. Okay? Because I'm over it. I'm over it. If it's, just, if it's just me and my daughter for the rest of my life, me and my baby, we're going to be all right. We're going to have a good life. Because. Uh-oh. She has a daughter. Now, again, nothing against single mother, but I believe as a, as a man, and men, chime in. Chime in if you believe that. If you're a single mother, you have to overcompensate for the fact that you have a child. And I know 
Women with children are not going to like this, but it's true. You have a child and you have a man. There's nothing wrong with being a single mother because we understand certain circumstances happen that you couldn't control or you controlled or whatever. We're not going to get into that today. But you have to understand that you having a kid means you have to compensate for that change. For that child. Then on top of that, you have a mouth. No wonder why the guy doesn't want to talk to you. He's like, nope. She got a mouth and a kid. I can do better. And again, I'm not trying to down or demean single women. Because there are single women out here that are very cool and very humble and very hospitable and very nice. But we're talking about this sassy single mother with a kid and a mouth. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But you can't. It's like I was on my other video yesterday night and one person made a good comment. They said, you can't be ugly and fat. You can't fix ugly, but you can fix fat. You can't fix that you have a child, but you can fix your mouth. But you can't have a child and a mouth at the same time. It's too hard to deal with. That makes sense. Ladies, if you want a man, act like it. If you really want a man, and I preface this because not every woman wants a man, and I understand that. But if you want a man, you have to carry yourself in a hospitable, humble, and nice way. Drop the attitude. Drop the RBF. Stop making your face look like you ate bricks for breakfast and smile. You act as if men don't approach you. No, they're not approaching you because of you. Men approach women. Men approach women. They're just not approaching you. And then you use your experience to define the entire dating experience. And it's not the case. Fix your face, fix your attitude, fix your life, and then you'll get a man. And on that note, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell. It will let you know when I upload a new video. And until next time, peace.